close to 50 officers of state police, Lusaka City Council Police and Ministry of Health officers were in a convoy with one mission, to check on COVID-19 guidelines adherence at Lewanika Mall in Hoodlands and other hotspots in the city. Upon seeing the officers, patrons bolted and went to hide in the toilets. They were fished out and then cautioned. <laughs> So our first stop uh, is Leonika Mall. We were here at Champs VIP Lounge and the police officers uh, from uh, Zambia Police and Lusaka City Council let uh, the patrons uh, leave uh, while they start cautioning them not to actually uh, uh, come to bars and uh, 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 mix uh, as it is uh, a recipe for spreading the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. Next stop was the renowned Devil Street, which is dotted with a number of bars and nightclubs. But strangely, it was quiet, save for a number of vehicles packed on the street. Yeah, so now we are in the famous and notorious uh, Devil Street. When we came here with the police, uh, uh, patronizers of uh, nightclubs had, have actually scampered and uh, they've run away and uh, no one has been actually been apprehended. The police officers had a hunch. A number of crates that had been arranged looked out of place. Upon moving them, they discovered a hidden corridor that leads to a nightclub and the owner suddenly appeared to divert attention. A door had been quickly sealed off, and a door in the corridor closed, but strange noises were heard coming beyond. The owner and the workers were taken to task, but could not comply. The officers had to bring down the door, and alas, scores of revelers were packed to the rafters in Floor Rider nightclub, and their numbers overwhelmed the building. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Awesome. Oh, I should like Switch on the light, switch What are you doing? Let's mask you now. <laughs> eh? Masking up now. The revelers were cautioned and let go, but as they were coming out, they scrambled for whatever alcohol they could find on tables. Here behind Florida's nightclub are rooms for rent for patrons who choose to be intimate. 
Florida is disguised as a betting house and had swallowed all these night people that were now lining up the Devil Street and hesitating to go home. When we reached the famous Royal Park in Matero, people had already been tipped about the operation and they had all scampered using the back exit, leaving broken bottles behind. A tiny corridor in the back of the nightclub has cheap rooms for rent and your gaze on their use is just like mine. We proceeded to Magodi Lodge on the Great North Road, SOSO area, and officers had to force the gate open. The nightclub also has rooms in the back. One guy quickly tried to lock the door, but we managed to enter. One guy with three women in one room. He had locked himself in the toilet. Come out. After four hours around zero one, the operation was complete. Lusaka City Council Public Relations Manager Mwaka Nakweti gave an update. Okay, comrades, thank you so much for braving the cold night with us. I know it's not easy. Um, this operation today uh, was a joint operation between the Saka City Council Ministry of Health, uh, State Police, as well as uh, Council Police. Um, uh, so far, we visited uh, 41 uh, places in total uh, this evening. We've won 17 and we found 24 complying. I'm sure you saw the situation for yourself that there are some business owners that are still not complying with the measures that have been set in, mind, uh, in view of uh, the COVID-19. Uh, we found people literally closing themselves in, barricading themselves in, uh, just so they can have some fun and some alcohol. But we'll go towards whatever lengths to find these people and ensure that uh, they comply with the COVID-19 guidelines. I had to ask her my burning question. Uh, they've got room. Is it safe to say that these places are also operating as brothels? I can't state for sure whether these places are operating as brothels. But as the local authority, we'll do our own investigations. We'll conduct our own investigations uh, to come to the bottom of this. Obviously, people need to have the proper, uh, proper licenses. We noticed that some of these entities actually went operating with uh, proper documentation. And so we'd like to urge them to come to the local authority, follow the proper channels, because at the end of the day, they'll be crying foul. The local authority is not there to inconvenience them, but rather to accord them a space where they can conduct their businesses conducively. Tito Kalama for S24.